Hey, what's up? I'm about to set up a ton of automations around my house, so I thought this could be a good time to share my process for thinking of, creating, and testing automations. Now, starting off first with how I think of automations, and this can be the most difficult thing I go through in the entire process of creating automations. So what I typically like to do is write down a lot of things that annoy me around my house. So usually I do a pretty good job of remembering to pick up my daughter from school, but lately me and Allie have been switching off on who picks her up, and I'm not gonna say if I've forgotten her or not, I'm not gonna admit that, but I need a better way to remind myself if no one's left to go pick her up yet. Another one is if I accidentally left a garage door open. Now, I already have an automation that runs if the garage door was left open to send me a notification, but this happened recently. We had to leave the garage door open longer than when that notification ran. So I forgot that it was still left open and it had been a few hours. So I need a better way to remind myself that's not just sending notifications over and over again. It's also December and I really haven't been listening to a whole lot of Christmas music. So I want a good way to listen to Christmas music more in my house. Another thing that's been annoying me is the automation lights in this garage. Now, the automation for turning on the lights when you come out here is no problem. That works amazing. But I don't want the lights to always stay on, so I have the lights turn off after 10 minutes. Now, this is where the problem is. Because if I walk out here and I grab something, the lights are on, and then if I walk back out here, like nine and a half minutes later, the lights are still on and as I'm grabbing something, the lights will turn off from that previous automation. So I need to figure out a way to do that without that annoying 10 minute timer, but also keep the lights off if no one's out here. So now that I've thought of a bunch of annoying things around my house, it's time to start creating the automations. And I have a rule of thumb to just start off by keeping it very simple on the initial automation. And I'll give you an example. Say, remembering to go pick up my kid from school. Now, I know that that will happen every single day at a certain time. So I know the trigger will be a time-based trigger. And I could even create this in an Amazon routine and announce everywhere in the house that I need to go pick up my kid from school on all the echoes. And that would be a totally fine automation. I could create that, that would be helpful. But I know eventually over time that could get a little annoying, especially since someone is still here at the house and they're gonna have to go hear that automation run even though the other person remembered and is go, going to pick up our daughter from school. So I could add a condition and say, only if the garage doors haven't opened by a certain amount of time, then have the echoes announce on all the echoes to go pick up our daughter. That way we don't get numb to the notification and it won't annoy anyone because we actually need to remember to go pick her up from school. So it, you can start off really simple and then add to it. And you know, if you're gonna add to it like that, like I was explaining, you will need a more advanced system like SmartThings, Hubitat, or Home Assistant. You can't do that with just Amazon routines. But for some of the other ones, you know, the garage door was left open. That one's pretty simple. I'm just gonna turn on a light when the garage door opens and turn off a little light when the garage door is closed. So if I see that light on, I know the garage door is gonna be open. So pretty simple automation. Needing more Christmas music in the house. Now, again, if I start simple, I could say every day at a certain time, just start playing Christmas music on the Echo in our family room. But again, that could get a little annoying because what if we're not in the family room, we're across the house and all of a sudden we hear Christmas music playing in the family room and we're like, hey, what's going on? So even using an Amazon routine, I could set the trigger to be a motion sensor and start up the routine or the automation if someone is actually in the room between 5 and 6 p.m. to start playing Christmas music in there. Now for the garage lights turning off after that time, that 10 minutes, I am gonna share how I fix that in the next automation video because I have a pretty awesome way and I don't wanna spoil it. So after I've created the automation, it's time to test it and make sure it actually works. So there are a couple of different ways to do this. One is just to click 
run routine or run automation and make sure it goes through all the commands and does what you expect it to. But the other thing you'll need to do is make sure that it runs when it's supposed to. Now, this is a little more difficult to figure out, requires a little more work, but it's not that difficult if you know where to look. Now, if you're using Amazon routines, if you click on the routine in the upper right, there's the three little dots. You can choose view activity, and that will show you every single time the routine is run. And you can make sure it's not running when it's not supposed to, like in the middle of the night or running over and over again or something like that, because obviously that wouldn't be good and causing chaos in your house. In smart things, they have a history of when the automation is running. Same thing for Home Assistant, but with Home Assistant, they give you a few extra tools, which are awesome. Shows you the trace of all the decisions on why the automation ran or why it did not run. So that's super helpful and has saved me so many times. Now the final test and probably the most, no, definitely the most important one is the spouse approval factor. So I'm about to go show Ali all these automations and hopefully she gives it the thumbs up because I wanna make sure she likes them and they're not annoying for her or the family. So I recommend telling your family and giving them the heads up and getting their stamp of approval. So yeah, it'll be great. We'll have all the echoes on max volume, shouting, lights flashing. You know, that way we'll all get out the door quickly to go to the store. Wait, what? That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh really? Oh, okay, uh, scratch that. Now I've only shown a few automations in this video. I have a lot more I'm gonna show in the Smart Home Solver video. And then after that, I'm gonna post another video on this channel explaining the ins and outs on how I set up and configured each automation. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. Thanks for watching.